praise you the Lord. The Lord's name be the praised. Lord's name be praised. Praise you the Lord. We thank God for this moment as we come your way to your homes, to your workplace, wherever you find yourself. We are honored. We are grateful that you open your life to us for us to come across and present to you the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are still on our series, the Identity Crisis series. And this is the third section of our identity, Sons of God. We try to find a solution to our orphan spirit. Who are we? Where, where did we come from? Why are we here? Where are we going? What sort of entity are we? Are we animals? Are we nobodies? Are we just sin infested and then the sickness, wrapped, diseases, poor, being oppressed and in bondage? Today's subtopic will be we are in union with Him. With Him being God, we are in union with Father God. Because that's the first point us. Not only are we of the same species with God, having the same substance with Him, not only are we of the same species. If you study biology, talking about nature, you deal with species. So we have human species, we have animal species, we have vegetation species, we have fish species, we have human species, we have angelic species, and we have divine, divine species. That's different. We have demonic species too, but we have divine God. We have the same species we call. He's our Father. He has given birth to us through the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are participating of his, his divine nature, the Bible tells. We have escaped the last of the world. That the corruption of this world gets us entangled with. We have the same species. See, I'm of the species of God. I'm of the species, species of, of God. God. I'm of the species of God. I'm of the species of God. I'm not of the animal species. I'm not of the animal species. I'm not a baboon. I'm not a baboon. An ape. An ape. A monkey. A monkey. A chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. I'm not any of such. I'm not any of such. I'm not an animal. I'm not an animal. I'm not a beast. I'm not a beast. I'm not a fish. I'm not a fish. I'm not a plant. I'm not a plant. Neither am I a demon. Neither am I a demon. I'm not an angel. I'm not an angel. But I am of God. But I am of God. I'm of the species of God. I'm of the species of God. You see, we are of a substance. That which makes God God. His materiality. Supernatural divine materiality. God has a materiality, or God is made of materiality, but it's not human material, it's not natural materiality, it's supernatural. It's made of light. God is a spirit. The other is of a higher class, higher than angelic. Angelic, angelic beings also even as spirit being, but God is of an infinitely higher order. But we have that substance. We have been participating of his divine nature. He has given birth to us by his seed, his word, that lives and abides forever, imperishable, incorruptible, eternal, mutable seed. As a follow-up, number two, we are in union with him. You see, we are not just of his species, but we are in union with him. Not unity. <laughs> There's a difference between unity. Then there can be two species. So two human beings can unite in mind to do something, be after a cause or anything. But we're talking about union. Union is the great word in the Bible, union. When you get a revelation and an illumination of it, you are gone. You have arrived. It shows that we have the same organism. Everybody says same organism. Same organism. Yeah, we know of atoms, subatomic particles, we know of 
atoms coming together to form molecules. We know of their molecules being tissues, and then we know of the tissues come together to be, be, form an organ. Organ. Then we know various organs working together to like the respiratory uh, this thing system. We talk about uh, this thing. Uh, uh, a uh, circulatory system that involves the heart and other things that pumps the blood and we know reproductive systems and the likes. There's many organs coming together to perform a particular function. Then we know all these organs coming together to form one organism. So don't be uh, confused by the word organs and organism. So uh, that is one organism making one entity god is one entity if we take it to mass two we talk about integer wholeness and in the end we talk about subsets and the likes do you understand it yeah then john 15 5 is one of the close says revelation jesus tried to reveal this truth our position to us because is too much there's no human language that can describe it the best jesus could use in as a human language to understand it is use the vine with its branches john 15 verse 5 the vine the branch he said i am the vine ye are the branches he that abided in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me ye can do nothing you see, the vine, the root and the stem alone do not form one organism. With the branches and the leaves and the flowers and the fruit being a different organism. The branches need the root and the stem to exist. But then the root and the stem also need the branches and the leaves to express itself. To bear fruit and jesus said the life of god god and his family he is the vine the father is the root we are the branches and then as we abide the branch abides in the vine and the vine abides the vine the sap of the tree the minerals the substance the food comes from right from the root system to the vine then into the branches into the leaves into the flowers then the fruits are born and he said that is our relationship with him as the firstborn son and without him if you cut yourself from Christ you can do nothing not only can you not do but then you are nothing if it's broke away the branch broke away it's already dead dead by blocking it may take some hours or days for you to see it that way dream but the moment is cut from its source we are talking about identity ourselves we are linked up with jesus we are in union with him john 14 15 to 20 this with us that we are no more orphans john 14 15 20 said if you love me keep my commandments jesus talking here and i'll pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever he said even the spirit of truth is talking about the holy spirit whom the world cannot receive because it sees him not neither knows him he said but you know him he was talking to his disciples there for you he dwelled with you he was by their side because he uh, the holy spirit was in jesus at that time do not in them but shall be in you it will not leave you comfortless i'll come to you then when we go to the 19th and 20th, he said, At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. That's the union. And that is the day. The day has come. The born again has been, by then he has not gone to the cross to die to pay for the penalty of sin. So Peter and the rest, all of them, Mary Magdalene, they were sinners. Apostle Paul was a sinner. But when Jesus went to the cross and resurrected Mary Magdalene, all of them, uh, Bartholomew and the rest of them, and uh, uh, Nathaniel, everybody got born again, including his mother Mary and his half brothers, Judah and the rest, they got born again, James. 
He said that you will know, and I've known. You also must know right today, Mr. Christian, having received Jesus as Lord, know that Jesus is in the Father, and we are in Jesus, and Jesus is in us. Union. Everybody say union. 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 We are not two species. We are not two entities. We are one whole entity together, Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit. Say, wow. 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 <laughs> You are no more an orphan. Jesus in the Father, we in Jesus, and Jesus in us. So we become participators not only of the divine nature, but we become participators of that organism. One whole body. One. One, one entity. One with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Say, wow, we are in Jesus, Jesus in us, we are in the Father, the Father is in Jesus. We are one, we are one. Then why do you stress yourself, Mr. Christian? Because you have not known the truth, you haven't been properly taught. I know, I've discovered it, it has been revealed, I know. So I walk without any inferiority complex, superiority complex. I don't have an identity crisis. It doesn't matter my skin is black, so what? My skin is white, so what? I don't care about that. You, do you understand me? I'm rich or poor, so what? I'm in union with Jesus, I'm in union with the Father Himself, the source of all good. <laughs> Number three, it says, as He is, so are we now. Not in that sweet by and by, we shall see the beautiful shore. No, no, not that. Right now, it says, right now. Fed on four seventeen. Let's look at it. So hearing is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world, this present life. And you, Mr. Christian, Mrs. Christian, you're always crying and being envious of wicked people. Check some 73 and check some 37. You see, it turns over 37, then 73. It talks about the rise of the wicked, the rise of the unbeliever, the rise of the cheat, the Machiavellian type of people. You see, it tells you those who go about the unjustified, the myth, they are in politics, they are in the social media, they are everywhere, they are in high tech, and they are cheating, and they are covering up, and they are in the security forces, and they are wicked. He said they grow like Green Bay tree. Just one day they'll be cut off, and you look for them, you will not find them. But the righteous, those who trust in the Lord, shall abide forever. Amen. Amen. If you check some of my videos last year in dealing with righteousness, you'll find all this thing. So cheer up. Don't look at natural things people have. God will give you, if it doesn't come as early as you want, that doesn't matter. All these things will pass away, the world will pass away, everything will pass away. Do you understand me? Your very union you know, with God matters more than anything. That shows who you are. You are a son of God. You are born of God. You are God the Son. You are union know, with Christ. As the Father is, so are you. As the Son is, so are you. Now, when we look at the Father, you see, the most important thing is your being before your doing and your having. You say all things are ours now. All things. When look at First Corinthians chapter 3, 21 to 23. Oh my. When look at this. You see, we Christians are living far below our cap cap uh, capabilities, our capacities, living far below our wealth, our riches, supernatural as well as natural, spiritual as well as physical riches. Having God, having Jesus is more than enough. And then make us creators and everything God creates and everything God does belong to you. First Corinthians chapter 3, 20. He said, Therefore let no man glory in me. Did you hear? You who boast. Nowadays I see all through the social media, they say this postman, his life, his woman, his cars, his they say they think that's what makes him a person. This woman the cars she has, luxurious building, the money worth. That is absolutely nonsense. It's nonsense. Said, so let no man glory in men. 
Then those who haven't had such it, they are envious of these people. Either they backbite them or they clap for them. He said, for all things are yours. When you are in Christ, believer, when you are in Christ, all things are yours. I'm not saying, God is saying, he said, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. All are yours. Life is yours. Death is yours. The, those people who are boasting and fronting their riches and their and their family line and everything on the media as well as in magazines and the social media, they all belong to you. All are yours. The whole world, life is yours. Angels are yours. Everything he said, and you yourself too. You belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. All are Christ, and Christ is God. Say amen to that. Amen. Yes, yeah, that's how it is. What is the scripture trying to tell us? He's saying that God's being is your being. God's person, persona is your persona. God's nature is your nature. God's person is your person. You don't have a different person from him, different nature from him. Your being. His nature and character is yours. His ways are your ways <laughs> his works are your works his glory is yours too <laughs> hallelujah i feel like flying <laughs> i've known this truth for long and i'm proclaiming it to you because i've accepted it I've, I've been walking in it and god wants you to walk in it that's why he has sent me to reach out to you his kingdom is our kingdom you want in this kingdom everything recently there been a coup in guinea coups here there that is nothing you want to build a satanic kingdom you want to build we want to build a kingdom every kind of kingdom religious kingdom economic kingdom social kingdoms his rule and dominion are your rule and your dominion his victory is our victory hallelujah Mm -hmm. We are in union with him. This is all unity. These are not two, two entities agreeing together. But we are in him. He's in us. We are in Christ. Christ is in us. Christ is in the Father. The Father is in Christ. Therefore, we are in the Father as well. We need him to exist. He also needs us to express himself. Wow! The cabot of the Lord and the shekel of the Lord flows through us believers in Christ. Do you understand? And you have little money and you are crying that God has forsaken you. God has not been good to you because he has not given you a husband or wife or children. That's your ignorant of spiritual realities. God is not separate. He's not in union with the angels who are so powerful. He's in union with us human beings who are believing in Christ. We are one with him. Hallelujah. Do you understand? That is your identity. This is who you are. This is what you have received from him. If you are in union know, with him, then that means when he moves, you are moving too. When he works, you are working. His wealth, his riches are yours. His kingdom, his victory, so everything of his, all his ways, all his works, all his miracles are yours. His throne is your throne. Say hallelujah to that. Hallelujah. It's getting better and better, isn't it? You're finding more things than what you expected in relation with your orphan spirit and your identity. We we'll continue and then you we'll see. You see, we, we can exalt this topic, but by the time we finish with the session, God will have given you something that is worth more than all the platinum, all the diamonds in this world, all the golds, all the dollars and pounds and everything in this life, the bauxite and all, all the fruit, all the flock, the cattle and everything. And human slaves that you can gather. In Jesus' name we call it done. Amen. Amen. Say, dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Come into my life. That I'll be in union you know, with you. I'll be in union you know, with you. And in, with the Father as well. And with the Father as well. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. And wash away my sins. And wash away my sins. And come into my life. And come into my life. And give me give me the Zoe. And give me the Zoe. The eternal life of God. The eternal life of God. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. That now I'm one with you. That now I'm one with you. Not unity. Not unity. But union. But union. I am you. 
am you and you are me and you are me i am us i am us and you are us and you are us all that you are all that you are i am i am all that you have all that you have i have i have all that you do all that you do i do i do your throne your throne is my throne is my truth your dominion your dominion is my dominion it's my dominion your rule your rule is my rule is my rule your wealth your wealth and riches and riches are mine are mine your glory your glory your resplendent glory your resident your glory. color your rainbow your color your, your light your light your dazzling nature your dazzling nature are all mine are all mine your strength and power your strength and power and then your authority and your authority are mine are mine i thank you i thank you for loving me so for loving me so in your name i pray in your name i pray amen amen you got to feed on the word of god you got to pray always through the name of Jesus and pray you must go to church weekdays and weekends and also you must also tell people about Jesus that's so we need and bring them to the saving knowledge of Christ until then until they will be the king I say shalom and the peace of God be with you the joy of the Holy Ghost be with you the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all even now and forevermore amen Amen. Amen.